I'm Jackson. Uh, this class was my first experience with research. I liked how throughout the class we uh, kind of got to see our skills develop, uh, especially dissection, and then at the end of the course, uh, analyzing these images. And it was fun to kind of apply all the knowledge we learned throughout my degree. This was my first time working with flies in the lab setting, and I also learned a lot. I learned a lot about gene regulation, and why flies are a really great model organism. And it was really a great opportunity to be able to work hands-on um, with actual research. Hi, my name is Alexa, and I'm really um, proud to have taken this class because I got to meet a lot of big scientists um, and get some insight, um, inspiration, and motivation on what I want to do with my uh, career from now on. Hi, my name is Evan. This was my first research course. We learned about Cal 4 UAS. Binary expression systems, balancers, optogenetics, Markham, connectomics, a bunch of other things. It was really helpful for me and me orientate myself towards my future career. My research with flies was quite challenging. It was the first time that I have ever done it, so um, I think it was very a lot of genetics, which I hadn't done yet, so a lot of the class was learning that and then develop, developing the research skills to be able to perform every experiment. Hi, I am very grateful for taking this class. I learned a lot about flight genetics. I think it's very versatile what you can do with, with Drosophila and I learned a lot of techniques that are useful for my career path, and thank you, NSF. Hello, my name is Ethan Wilson. I come from the Yucca Strung Out on a Fruit clan from my mother's side, the Towering House clan from my father's side, the Saltwater clan from my mother's father's side, and the Coyote Hemis class clan from my father's father's side. One is that the daily rhythms that we that we display in sleep activity and core physiological parameters, 80% of your genome somewhere in your body is up or down regulated every day by your circadian clock, that this is not driven by a rhythmic environment. We have a profoundly rhythmic environment. We know when it's day, we know when it's night. Uh, one of the scientists that I was able to meet during this neurocure class was Dr. Andrea Gomez, who comes from the Laguna Pueblo in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And in fact, the, the timing of these inputs and when it arrives onto the CA1 neurons is essential for plasticity and it's essential for CA1 neurons to encode, say, spatial mapping. It was really interesting to see someone of the indigenous background in the neuroscience field and it's uh, given me a new perspective of what science can be for me. Like there are some genes near the central nerve and you know, at places like those, it's hard to hit them. Well, that's an excellent question. Actually, I was thinking of uh, making something like that, to, to have a Cas9 that's only active in S phase. So um, I'm working on this. There is a big potential in single cell sequencing into discovering the developmental features of the Drosophila brain. That's right. So that's, that's, that's the question we keep asking ourselves too, right? How did you get interested in just uh, neuroblasts? So, like, why specifically the neuroblasts? Um, yeah, because I want to study the uh, temporal patterning of uh, uh, neuroprogenitors. 
I'm very glad to be able to be here and talk to you guys. You know, what Natasha is saying is mentorship is super important. If you can find, you know, somebody that will allow you into their PI lab or to mentor you, that's like a big thing for your success. Like, I don't think I would have ever gotten even close to getting accepted anywhere if it wasn't for Cyan and Dr. Brown. Thank you.